so you obviously need a sanitizer in your hot tub. The question is, which one should you use, chlorine or bromine? And should you use tablets or granules? Choosing the best type of sanitizer for your spa is an easy one once you know a little bit about each type and how to add them to your hot tub. Check it out. First, what's the difference between chlorine and bromine? While chlorine is the most common sanitizer for swimming pools, bromine is used more often in hot tubs. Now, while they both kill bacteria, the biggest difference is how they do it. Chlorine oxidizes contaminants, invading them and destroying them from the inside out. The chlorine dissipates and turns into a waste product called chloramines. This is what causes that chlorine smell and can cause your eyes to burn. It also reduces the sanitizer's effectiveness. So to keep chloramines at bay, you'll need to add chlorine on a regular basis, usually at least once a week. And if it gets really bad, you'll likely need to shock your hot tub. Bromine, on the other hand, ionizes contaminants, and that means it forces apart their chemical bonds. A lot of bromine remains active and working even after combining with contaminants, but bromine also produces a waste product called bromamines. While they're not as smelly as chloramines, they can reduce the effectiveness of the bromine in your hot tub, so shocking will help there too. Another difference between these two chemicals is their effectiveness. Chlorine kills contaminants more quickly than bromine does. Bromine is not as reactive as chlorine, so it kills more slowly. But bromine has a lower pH than chlorine, so it can help keep your overall water chemistry more balanced. Next is the chemical stability. Now, while chlorine may work more quickly, bromine is actually more stable than chlorine, especially in warm water and chlorine dissipates more quickly than bromine, so it needs to be replaced more often. Bromine kills bacteria in your spa for a longer period of time than chlorine. However, ultraviolet or UV light destroys bromine more quickly than chlorine, so if you have an outdoor hot tub, make sure you use a hot tub cover. Now that you know a little bit about what makes these chemicals different, what's the right dosage amounts for each one? Now, the ideal level for chlorine is one part per million to three parts per million, with three parts per million being ideal. The ideal level for bromine is three parts per million to five parts per million, with five parts per million being ideal. Now, if you end up with too much chlorine or bromine in your hot tub, don't worry. You don't have to completely start over with fresh water. You can check out our other videos for tips on adjusting your water chemistry levels. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you'll likely need a larger dose of bromine than chlorine to sanitize your tub, and bromine costs more than chlorine. But because you don't have to use it as often, it actually may even out. A lot of it depends on the size of your hot tub and how well you keep the water clean and balanced. Whether you choose to use chlorine or bromine, do not mix them together in the water or in their dry chemical state. This can cause a very dangerous chemical reaction. And if you're going to switch from one to the other, you'll need to drain and clean your hot tub and do a line flush. Do not store them next to each other. Even in separate containers, the fumes they can give off can combine and become combustible. That means they explode. And do not use the same feeder for both. Some of those chemical remnants can react with each other. Real quick, before we continue, if you're looking for an easy to follow tutorial that'll answer all your hot tub questions, go check out our hot tub handbook and video course. You'll get in-depth video lessons, plus a step-by-step -step downloadable guide covering everything that you need to know about hot tub maintenance. It's packed with money-saving tips so you can save money and time keeping your hot tub clean. This is the ultimate manual for every type of hot tub. And the best part is we always keep it up to date. So once you buy it, you have access to the latest and greatest version for life. That's swimuniversity.com slash spa and use the promo code video. And finally, what's the difference between granules and tablets? Now, whether you use chlorine or bromine, if you know how to use a measuring cup, well, then you know how to add granules to your hot tub. So first, you want to figure out your hot tub's volume or how much water it holds. Two, turn on the hot tub and read the instructions on the chlorine or bromine container carefully. Measure the amount of chlorine or bromine based on your hot tub's volume. Three, pour the granules slowly and directly into the hot tub. 
Four, allow the water to circulate for 20 minutes to allow the sanitizer to completely disperse. And five, test the water to make sure that your sanitizer is at the right level. So how do you add chlorine and bromine tablets? Well, the good news about tablets is you don't have to add these as often as granules. First, you wanna read the instructions on your tablet container carefully. Two, place the recommended number of tablets, usually one inch tablets, into a feeder, also called a floater, a float, a dispenser, a chlorinator, or a brominator. Three, adjust the feeder, if it's adjustable, according to the manufacturer's directions to control the release of sanitizer. Four, hold the feeder under the hot tub water for a few seconds to push all the air out. And then five, test the water over the next couple of days to ensure proper sanitizer levels. Remember, no matter how well you maintain sanitizer levels, you'll still have to drain and clean your hot tub once in a while, ideally every three to four months. And whether or not you choose chlorine or bromine, it's okay to change your mind. Since you'll be changing your water and deep cleaning your hot tub every few months, you can always switch if you don't like the initial sanitizer that you choose. Just remember, do not mix these two and regularly test your sanitizer levels. If you missed anything or have any questions, please leave a comment to let us know and to help out your fellow hot tub owners. Hit the like button below if you found this video helpful. And if you want to learn more about hot tub maintenance and troubleshooting, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And check out the hot tub handbook and video course at swimuniversity.com spa. Don't forget to enter that promo code video to get 10% off. That's it. Thanks again and happy soaking.